Patrick Miller compares the horror and hell he experienced on March 23, 2003 in Iraq to that of a bad war movie. Only the explosions and bloodshed in his version were real. Going through the city of Nasiriya, realized we weren't in the area we were supposed to be in, turned around to go back the way we came, got ambushed, lost 11 soldiers that day, and five of, seven of us were taken captive. Miller was driving the last truck in the convoy when his unit was ambushed by Iraqi forces. The Humvee Private First Class Jessica Lynch had been riding in was just a mile up the road from Miller when it crashed into a tractor trailer. The uh, Humvee that she was in with First Arm and Specialist Paestoa was hit with an RPG and they lost control and crashed into the back of a semi-trailer. Lori Paestawa from Arizona was the first Native American woman killed in combat. This is the part of Jessica Lynch's rescue not everyone is familiar with. It's Patrick Miller's story. What are some of the things that, that, we, that we don't know, that we need to know about that experience, if there is anything? Don't believe everything you see on TV, the, the way everything came out and how it actually happened. Everything was already blown up. And to me, the media is not one of those animals that's going to go back and say, hey, we screwed up. This is what really happened. With no time to think and just seconds to react, Miller dodged bullets as he drove, even after his passenger was shot and killed. When Miller's truck died, he brought the fight on foot. Blinded by bullets, he defended his wounded comrades, including an unconscious Jessica Lynch. Outnumbered by Iraqis 7 to 1, the odds were stacking up. Miller had been shot, his gun had jammed, and he still managed to shoot the Iraqi who was setting up a mortar position. As I get ready to get out of there to go to the truck, I see that they have a mortar position set up behind the truck. So I end up attacking the mortar position by myself so that the other soldiers that are by the other trucks yeah. don't get mortared and anything happened to them. Eventually, Miller's group was surrounded and captured for 21 days. Did you ever think you were going to get out alive, come there, home? There's always that, that wondering what's going to happen. It's, it's always that fear of not knowing, I guess. What did you, what did you try to think about? Uh, there were days I hunted flies, and thought about what my house would look like if I ever built me a house. A lot of daydreaming, thinking mm -hmm. about my kids. Miller was awarded the Silver Star, Purple Heart, and is nominated for the Congressional Medal of Honor. We're still here, whereas for me, the real heroes did are the ones that didn't make it home. Yeah,